What's up guys, today I am making some chicken dumplings for dinner. Now the recipe I'm using is not only simple, it is tasty and very healthy. So please watch this video, follow the recipe and if you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and share it. Thank you. Okay, so first up, we need to talk about the ingredients that I'm going to put in my filling. As always, the onions and the garlic are a staple in Chinese cooking, so that's going in the paste. In addition, I'll be adding some ginger, some shiitake mushrooms, some coriander, and some carrots. I prefer using shiitake mushrooms because it is a lot sweeter and it adds to the flavor of the dumplings. Now, if you can't find shiitake mushroom, that's alright. You can use portobello mushrooms or brown mushrooms. I recommend buying free range chicken because it is a lot leaner and has less fat than regular chicken. Mix all the ingredients in the big mixing bowl. Add the garlic, onions and ginger with the chicken and mix it up together. Slice the mushrooms up real thinly and then mince it up. Mincing the coriander would really maximize its flavor because of all the juice that's going to come out. And lastly, mince the carrot. The only two seasoning for this recipe is white pepper and sesame oil. Add about one tablespoon of corn flour to the paste. This would allow the paste to not break away when it's fried and keep it nice and intact. Now to the fun part, folding the dumplings. The easiest option is to buy some pre-made dumpling skins. Most Asian supermarkets sell these, so it saves you a lot of time.
Heat the pan up with some oil and then sear the dumplings on each side. Fry the dumplings for about 4 minutes and then add a bit of water. This would make the dumplings nice and plump and juicy. Dumplings are best eaten with some ginger and some vinegar. Or if you're like me, you would have your dumplings with some homemade chili sauce. And there you go, perfectly cooked dumplings that are tasty and sodium free. A great option for everyone.